So, you ask me, how do I store my rice? What's the best way to store rice? I bought a 25 pound bag, do I just take and put it in a bucket in a five gallon Marlar bag and put oxygen absorbers in there? I'm gonna tell you why I don't do that. Coming up next. Mm -hmm. Here you are, you went to the store, you got yourself a 25 pound bag of rice. Now, what the heck do I do with it? Wait, we got a great idea. I'll go grab a five gallon bucket. I saw videos on this. And I'll get a five gallon Marlar bag and I'll order some oxygen absorbers and I'll put it all in here. And I'll seal it up and I'm good to go. I'll store it in a cool, dry place. Wrong. This is why it's wrong. Now, you're going to store this in all in here, and you got 25 pounds of rice in here in the five gallon Mylar bag, and you've stored it in a cool, dry place. So far, you're, you've done good. You've followed the directions of how everybody out there tells you how to do it. Here's the problem. Now the time has come, and you have to have uh, food. So you got to open this thing up. So now you take and you open this up and you cut your Marlar bag, pull out your oxygen absorbers and you take out, you know, six, eight cups of rice, you put them in your storage container. Okay. Now you have no power, you have no way to reseal your uh, Marlar bag and you have to make sure that you have extra oxygen absorbers on hand that are going to go in here to keep the rest of your rice fresh. Hmm. Now that's an added expense because your oxygen absorbers can get very expensive and the more you need and the bigger size pack that you do buy, they do start getting expensive. So here's an alternative way. Get you a vacuum sealer. Now you take your vacuum sealer, now with my family, you can decide exactly how big of a bag you want to make. You know, you got a large family, make it a large bag. Got a small family? Make a small bag. So I did three the three cup bags. Alright, there's three cups of rice in here. So you break these down. <clears throat> now, like I said, I did three cups in one cup. So these all fit back into my bucket. I seal the bucket up and I store it in a cool dry place. When I need something, okay, if a disaster hits or whatever, all I have to do is use my handy dandy little lid opener and pop the lid off. Now you can get the ones that screw on and everything else. You can get really high tech. Oh yeah, you can go all out. You know, you can, you can spend a lot of money. But just remember one thing. If you're storing it like this, or if you're putting it inside a Marlar bag, it doesn't need to be a food grade bucket. Save yourself the money. Just buy a regular like Home Depot or Lowe's bucket and a regular size lid. All you need to put this on with is a rubber mallet. You could use a hammer if you have to. And you need a lid puller. $1.99. Because the screw-on lids, they're going to nail you for like between 7 and 10 bucks for the screw-on lid. Not just counting the bucket. So it's a waste. So now you can turn around and if you have to say things got really bad and the neighborhood went to hell real quick you had to barter for other products that people have depending on what it is you're looking to barter for you have smaller packs or larger packs instead of trying to barter your whole 25 pounds of rice or flour sugar all this pertains to all these different types of products from beans, sugar, flour, all this type of stuff. I don't agree with everything being put into a five gallon bucket. I don't know. I think it's just much easier to break it down. You can vacuum seal them. If you want to use the Marlar bags and break it down that way, you can also do it that way too. Uh, you could just break it down by smaller bags, which means you have to you get smaller oxygen absorbers and you could break it up just like I did here, but only in that. And then you store it into your bucket and everything is all done and 
You just open it up, you reach in, grab one out, and go. Now, one other quick thing. There's a lot of hikers out there. Now, there's a lot of hikers that like to ultra-light hike. So if you take one cup of rice, and these guys measure, and gals, measure everything right down to the ounce that goes into their backpack. Me, I throw in there what I need and I go. But that's me, okay? But a one cup of rice is 7.6 ounces. So if you're looking for a way to really, um, if you're going on a, a backpacking trip for a couple days or whatever else, you know, a couple of these, or if only one, you know, depending on what else you're bringing, you know, you're good to go, weighs very little. Not much weight at all. So, my name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And until next time, I'll see you all on the flip side.